everyone, this is Across the Board with Jeff Grant here at SBRForum.com. We're going to take a look at the 113th U.S. Open that's scheduled to start on Thursday at Marion Golf Club in Ardmore, Pennsylvania, which is 11 miles outside the city of Philadelphia. A par 70 course that will play at 6,996 yards, only two par fives, and those come in the first four holes. So definitely over the weekend, players will need to take advantage of the scoring on those two holes to capture the championship. Weather forecast, thunderstorms on Thursday, uh, light rain throughout the morning on Friday. And that has been really the story of the tournament leading in is the fact of the weather and how the course will handle all the precipitation given the fact that they had three and a half inches of rain last Friday due to remnants of Tropical Storm Andrea. I've been following one of the old club professionals of the course that's moved on to another course, but he's been tweeting quite consistently throughout the week. And he said that he figures the winning score will be around minus eight for the entire weekend. While uh, Rory McIlroy mentioned the rain, that he won a congressional a few years ago, and it was a very soft course, but he does not expect the scoring to be as low as it was at congressional. So a few things, if you're looking to play the total score for the winner of the 113th US Open. Betting favorites here at William Hill in Las Vegas, Tiger Woods listed at 9 to 2, Phil Mickelson 12 to 1, Matt Kuchar 15 to 1, Adam Scott 17 to 1, and Rory McIlroy coming at 18 to 1. Those are your five betting favorites and five key stats that I've kind of uh, centralized my handicapping to in trying to predict a winner for this uh, tournament is driving accuracy, rough proximity. That means how close a player gets to the hole when shooting out of the rough and it's supposed to be absolutely treacherous for this tournament due to the fact of how much rain the course has taken upon itself. Greens and regulation, scrambling, and strokes gained in putting. Five players in key statistics to look at. Graham McDowell, number one in driving accuracy. Brant Snedeker, number two in rough proximity, number one overall in those five categories. So if you're looking to play a golfer that possesses all five of those statistics that I've kind of focused on, Brant Snedeker looks like a good option. Heinrich Stenson, number three in greens and regulation number two in driving accuracy, Lee Westwood. He's really spent a lot of time in scrambling and it's really paid off. He's number three in that category this year. That has been a weak link to his game. He's always been a contender at the US Open. And Sergio Garcia, if you wanna take a flyer, number two in strokes game putting, but I'm not getting anywhere near him with the Philadelphia crowd getting on him with his recent Tiger Wood comments. My official pick, and I think it's a bit of an underdog and it's a great price in my opinion, is Justin Rose at 22 to one, 17th in driving accuracy, seventh in scrambling. And the one statistic that I focused on uh, quite extensively was how players have done in greens of regulation from 200, and 200 or more yards out from the hole because the par threes, very long par threes at this course, and he is number one in that category on the PGA Tour. So my official pick, for the 2013 US Open is Justin Rose at 22 to one. This has been another edition of Across the Board here at sbrforum.com and you can follow me on Twitter at Jeff Grant Sports.